All right, what is going on, guys? I wanted to do a quick uh, recap, a revisit of this amazing knife from Tim Gallium. And uh, I recently did a studio tour. As most of you know, I am moving. I bought a house down the street, and I did kind of, uh, some people had asked, but kind of for myself, a uh, quick studio tour of my home office and one just so I could kind of remember how it's all set up by the time I tear it all down and, and move not that it's going to be exactly the same it will actually be somewhat different but it's a good starting point for me to kind of refresh back on and a few people had asked me to do that over the course of my channel and I've wanted to share kind of a behind the scenes. Anyway, fast forward to right now, one of the knives that got comments in that video was this guy who sits on my uh, sit stand desk right next door. Um, and so I figured, well, you know, I've owned this since about the beginning of 2023. And I actually didn't really know much about Tim Gallion when Jim Skelton asked me if I would like to check this out before uh, it got sold. Jim wasn't going to keep it. He asked me if I would like to see it before uh, sending it on to Recon 1. I think he was going to have sell it. I said, sure. I don't think I've ever really said no to anybody who's wanted to send anything in. And so Jim sent it in. And I really, when I did the unboxing, I fell in freaking love. From the first flip, I was hooked. And I had to reach out to Jim and say, uh, rather than me sending it off to be sold, I'll, I'll just keep it. <laughs> So I ended up buying it and I kept it. And I don't think Tim Gallion gets enough press time, if you will, video time, quality, uh, credit, whatever you want to call it, because he's really not making knives right now. He's kind of gone dark. Since I've owned this, uh, I've texted with him once or twice. And really it was, hey, I'm busy. I'll get back to you. And... He's not gotten back, but that's okay. This thing is just absolutely incredible. And I'm going to put a link at the end to one, my studio tour. If you missed it, you should check it out. I think it's cool. Gives it a little behind the scenes. And I will put a link to this full video that I did. Uh, also, if you missed that, it was around the beginning of the year. Um, so I still absolutely love this knife. It gets carried quite a bit, probably not as much as it should. One really nitpick thing about it is I, for me, the pocket clip is really tight in my jeans. Um, and so because of that fact, it doesn't just slide in and out nicely for me. I tend to pick something else to carry sometimes. Um, but this thing is on washers. That's the amazing part about this thing is it's on washers and has an amazing, amazing action. Like, yeah, it's just absolutely crazy. The craftsmanship that goes into this, the way the, uh, carbon fiber and G10 blue G10, I talk about it all in the full video. So go check that out. But, you know, a couple of people commented about it in the studio tour. So I figured I would revisit this as I'm packing, as I'm moving. Uh, I, I'm handling a lot of other knives that maybe I don't typically touch and handle. So it's kind of bringing back some memories and things like that. And, and the fact that, you know, I, I got it from Jim, who got it from another friend of ours in, in uh, Bangkok. Um, so a mutual friend. And... So there's just some uh, sentimental 
feelings to this knife as well as being an amazing piece of art, an amazing precision tool. It also came from my good friend, Jim Skelton. So, you know, I own this one from him. I own the first custom Hellraiser from him. I own uh, Big Red, the, the red G10 um, bodega from Todd Big Knives and things like that. So, you know, I don't know. It's one of those ones that is special because of the history of the piece. That makes sense. It's not just, yes, the piece is amazing, but the the pedigree, if you will, of it means I just enjoy it that much more. So anyway, a quick video about this. Uh, like I said, go check out Up in the Corners, my studio tour, and my full Tim Galleon uh, video on this. It gives you all the details and, and probably some of what I just said, but you know it's my channel. I'll talk what I want. Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a great day. And uh, you'll see me on the next video.